Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to take a look at and show you how to install Android 11 TV on your Raspberry Pi 4. The version that I'm going to be installing in this video is actually an unofficial image of Android 11 provided by Constacan. The stock operating system is pretty bare so I'm also going to show you how to get the Google Play Store up and running and how to set everything up. And by the way, if you're enjoying the content that I create on this channel, it would definitely make my day if you left a sub. And now let's get started. First of all, you're going to have to download the ISO file containing the OS by clicking on the first link in the description below, which will redirect you to a website called constacan.com. Here select Devices and click on Raspberry Pi 4. Then click on Image OS 18.1 Android TV. To download the ISO file, simply scroll down and click on the highlighted link. Then click on Download and select Primary Download. To download the OpenG Apps package, head back, scroll all the way down, and click on the highlighted link labeled OpenG Apps. After that, click on the newest folder and download the ARM Android 11 TV stock package. While it's downloading, go ahead and install an SD card flasher, in my case the Balena Etcher flasher by clicking on the second link in the description below or by visiting balena.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded everything, you're going to have to move the OpenG Apps package to a USB stick in order for you to be able to access it later from your Pi. Then open up the flasher and select the ISO file as well as the microSD card that you're going to be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 64GB one. And click on flash. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the microSD card from your PC and plug it as well as your stick into your Pi. Just give it some time to boot. As you can see the Pi has successfully booted up and like I said earlier, Android 11 TV is looking pretty bad at the moment. First of all, open up the settings and head to device preferences, about, and click on build number 5 to 6 times to enable developer options. Now that you've done that, head to developer options and enable advanced reboot. After that, go back to device preferences, reboot and select recovery. Now the Pi should boot into the recovery options. From here, swipe to allow modifications and click on install. Now you'll need to locate the previously downloaded OpenG Apps package on your stick. After successfully locating the package, simply select it and swipe to install. When G Apps is finished installing, click on Wipe Dalvik and swipe to wipe. Then click on Reboot System. Now Android 11 TV should be running on your Raspberry Pi 4 like it is on mine and you can go through the basic setup process. Which includes signing in with your Google account. After that, you'll be greeted with a little walkthrough of the OS. And as you can see, you can install apps from the Google Play Store, use the Google Assistant if you connect a mic and speaker to your Pi, which I haven't personally tried yet, and you can also cast your TV, but unfortunately not your Chromecast, according to Constacan. And here we have it, Android 11 TV running on a Raspberry Pi 4. And I must say, it looks and feels amazing. 
If you have a look in the apps menu, you can see that YouTube, Google Play Movies and the Play Store are installed. You can of course download further apps from the Play Store like Amazon Prime, Spotify, TED, Join, Vimeo, VPNs and quite a few others. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find Netflix or Disney Plus on the Play Store, but that might have something to do with the region I'm in. To make video playback smoother, you can always dial down the resolution to 720p by heading to Device Preferences, Raspberry Pi Settings and changing the display resolution. Additionally, you can also overclock your Pi to 2GHz if you want to improve the performance. After selecting your overclocking frequency, you're going to have to reboot your Pi for the changes to be applied. A quick note. Android 11 TV only has about 5.3 GB of storage despite you using a bigger micro SD card. If you want to take full advantage of all of your storage, click on the info card in the top right corner of your screen to watch a detailed tutorial. But apart from that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and if you want to see straight to the point tech related content just like this in the future please consider subscribing. See you in the next one.